Hello everybody, and now we are in a back to the capital, the western part of Mongolia, and we have a guest today. So I invited Romir to interview his experience during the last few years, and yeah, so let's start our discussion. So I have a quick question, Romir, so uh, could you please ask for yourself where you come from? and? Why you came to Mongolia? Yeah, uh, well, I'm Romir. I'm from the Netherlands in a city called Utrecht. We came to Mongolia because my father went on Kickstarter and met Davadash through his bags and clothes that he makes. And then he invited us to go on a trip here to Mongolia to see the western part and the capital city, and the ancient capital city of Mongolia. So, and now we're here going back. <laughs> yeah, we are back to the other plane. So. Coming back to the capital, yeah. and we also there is still not finished, but it continued. So my next question is: Now we already uh, seven, eight days of trip, and uh, what is the most exciting part of the trip, and also most difficult part of in your experience? Well, for me, the most exciting part was uh, the ancient capital, because I learned through Mongo from Mongolia through the history lessons with Genghis Khan and Mongolian. Uh, Wars that they had with various countries. So for me, the ancient capital was really interesting. You could see, still see the uh, Buddhism temple that is now. It was really pretty, and it was nice that the museum like uh, captured not just Genghis Khan but yeah. also the uh, sons and grandsons after him. Of course. So you learn a lot more when you're actually there than yeah. you just read in the book. Yeah. So it was really cool. Um, the most difficult part was probably the desert because desert. it was really hot yeah, and yeah, it cooled yeah. up really quick in the yeah, night yeah, 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 so yeah. the temperature switch was really difficult for me to get used to yeah. but it was really fun with the camel ride yeah, and it was yeah, a really yeah. pretty view when you went behind the desert dunes it was like a kind of an oasis kind of thing with the little trees and it was really pretty okay thank you but uh, yeah but my last question is very simple what is your main takeaway from Mongolia. Oh, that you can actually all be, uh, you can do what you want when you're like united. So when we went to the herders, everybody came there, the governor, other people, yeah. they were all helping with uh, getting the yaks for the milking the next day. Yes. Everybody was helping, not just the main family, but everybody around them. They're all like, they're different families, but they're all one family still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they all do it united. And that was really cool to see. Because you don't have that a lot in the Netherlands. So they're all separate farming villages. And they don't really mess with each other. But there it's all like one front. Okay. Uh, yeah, but anyway, the last question is, what is your, in the Netherlands, it's your town is Utrecht, right? Utrecht, yes. Okay. How many population is there? Uh, and where is it located, please? It's please located see. in the middle of the Netherlands. And it's part of a community called the Landstad, okay. which is are the like four biggest cities of the Netherlands collected. So I think Utrecht has about 600,000 uh, people living in it. And then the biggest one is probably the Amsterdam, with about almost 1.5 million, I think. Amsterdam. Okay. 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 Thank you very much for your okay. uh, Romir. And Thank you. Have a good trip to back to the capital. Yes, you too. And the uh, trip is not still not yet finished because no. we have two days left. Yes. And we can still see, see sightseeing things. Yes.